Ty Wilson Lawyers Reaction. All right, looks like we're on a freeway motorcycle zooming in and out of traffic in front of somebody. Oh, 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 are they on the motorcycle? Okay, there is somebody on their rear end. So what's unclear to me is it looks like this motorcyclist cuts them off and the car doesn't slow down with the motorcycle in front of them and then drives on to the back of the motorcycle. Doesn't look like the motorcyclist is hurt, although it did trash the car and probably totaled the motorcycle. I was concerned that maybe there was another motorcyclist that got run over, and it doesn't look like that's the case. Thank goodness, a lot of property damage. <sighs> motorcyclist arguably cut the car off. If you're driving the car, slow down. You're not gonna teach the motorcyclist a lesson. The worst thing that could have happened, it did not happen in this case, and that is the guy could have lost his uh, control of his motorcycle, fallen on the ground, and then the car drove over him, which could have caused death, possibly serious injury. So when some Yahoo does this, the best thing to do is to give them space. I know, most people are like, I don't want to do that because they were the ones who inflicted their issues on me. Understood. At the end of the day, we just all want to walk away unharmed and not involved in some sort of mess and move on with our lives. So give them space, let them get to wherever they're getting, or let them crash into somebody else if that's what they're going to do. Stay safe. If you or a loved one has been hurt in a car crash and you don't know what to do or how to move forward with the next steps, feel free to give us a call. We'll be happy to answer any questions we can and help you get moving forward. Thank you.